Hi all, in this video we are going to look at one of the newly launched application called Cloud Sketcher. Cloud Sketcher is mainly to design an architecture diagram for Azure, AWS, GCP Cloud. So this is a newly launched uh, application like I may say may we have a draw your visual and uh, lucid chat which will help us to draw the architecture in diagram for various cloud. Same way, this tool is particularly built for uh, Azure AWS GCP use case and we don't have a, this application don't have any other feature like drawing a flowchart and all. So it is special, specially built only to draw the architecture in diagram for a uh, various cloud. So if you just look at this landing page, they are offering a multiple services within this also. So they have a three uh, cloud platforms, Azure, AWS, DCP, 150 plus mapped icons and 1000 plus available icons overall. And their particular features are uh, you can uh, draw the architecture diagram, particularly for one cloud at a time. And then later you can convert it to other two clouds in a just single click. What I mean is if you draw the architecture, if you suppose if you are a particularly expertised in Azure Cloud, if you draw the architecture in Azure Cloud, later you can convert it to AWS and GCP in, in a single click. And also they have a features called uh, Cloud uh, Sketch Draw and Sketch Docs mainly where you can just give your problem statement what you want to build a solution on cloud and uh, as a problem statement when you give it it will automatically convert it to architecture diagram so majorly they are using a genai topics to uh, fetch the data and uh, design architecture diagram once that diagram comes on a grid you can later customize and you can uh, additionally add on top of that whatever you want to make it customize and add additional icons or uh, <coughs> any cloud services you can do that and once the your architecturing diagram is done, you can even uh, use the sketch docs feature, which will help you to generate a document. So that uh, basically you can take that uh, document and you can go for a business proposal to any customers that will be even having a cost data. What will be the cost of your architecture that will also it will include. So mainly even it, you can draw a multi-cloud architecture within us uh, Azure and AWS multi-cloud architecture if you want or if you want to have on-premise architecturing if you want to include you can draw that architecture in there. So this is a landing page of there and it is the good advantage of this particular uh, cloud sketcher is it is fully free and you can uh, get uh, even export the data everything without any watermarks and it's a unlimited access you can there will be no restriction on accessing the tool so i will just click on get started for this application so we will navigate to the landing page uh, main page so you can just see here this is a architecture in grid they have it for azure aws gcp you can see the, all the three tabs so if you are particularly expertise in aws you can uh, draw the architecture from here if you are in uh, good in azure uh, or gcp you can pick it accordingly so suppose let's say like you want to draw uh, add a virtual machine here right you can just bring it from here to in the grid and you can just click on convert so if you want to go with a manual drawing of architecture and diagram you can draw it and you can choose like which cloud you want to convert a diagram so if you just click on ok equivalent aws and gcp icons will appear here same these are the services which are mapped one to one or one to many mappings it is having so you can just click on convert uh, it will convert to the diagram <laughs> and they have uh, other general icons here mainly uh, you can search uh, any icons if you want to uh, bring it like even third party icons like akmai ansible or terraform if you want to include those you can find it from here and out of 150 there will be a lot of other azure aws gcp icons so even if you want to make it a multi-cloud architecture diagram within this you can draw it like this and uh, it will convert so when you take it from any icons or uh, services from here when you convert it to other cloud it will come as same the main purpose is you can draw the multi-cloud architecturing in the same grid that is the advantage here so you, if you want to convert it again here right the converted one uh, icon picked from this right side general icons it will come as it is in other cloud 
<laughs> but one uh, which you have taken it from here right this will convert it to azure aws gcp accordingly that is a feature they are having <laughs> and on uh, this side uh, first part you can see here file you can uh, take create a file and you can save and even you can open existing file which um, uh, when you uh, draw something or a diagram and you in the future again if you want to come back and uh, modify the architecturing diagram you have to save the diagram locally and you can bring it that back and you can start editing to the architecture diagram they have future and uh, they are not going to store any of your uh, files or anything as a backup right now they have a given a local storage only right now they don't have any drive locations or any location to store it cloud in a cloud <coughs> And we have an option here that you can <clears throat> do undo redo options are there, uh, copy, paste, all these cut options is there and even auto layouting is there. When you click, uh, when you draw the complete architecture, if you do the auto layout, it will also try to adjust the diagram fully. So when your default diagram didn't look better, you can just change it to auto layout mode. So it will automatically set up uh, all the nodes and edges. And you have a send backwards, from bring forward, send to back, bring to the front, all those features we have. And even if you want to draw any box, rectangle kind of things, you can draw, place it here. And you can just click on uh, to back, it will go back and this icon will come front. And if you want to connect uh, two nodes, right, you can just drag it from here and connect it like this. So it will get connected. And if you want to edit it, nodes like this, you can edit it that flexibility they have and if you want to make it animated you can uh, just make it animated with the dash and even you can give just like labeling and just click on save it will just save so this is how <clears throat> it has a features and then uh, you can even change the this box coloring here they have a limited colors but you can just switch on it and choose like which color you want to change <clears throat> and then they also have option to download now you can download a file you can just give the file name like test and you can just export it as a png pdf or jpg so it will download a file and then uh, we have an option called here manual text adding and a numbering feature so you can just place it numbers like this it will keep on increasing and if you want to edit a number count here you can just add, edit it and even if you want to edit a text you here you can uh, update a uh, text here and this is a basic thing uh, which they are having for a generally drawing the architecture diagram and then convert uh, which uh, generally like all the other uh, tools also they are providing this kind of feature on top of that main feature they are having is generating an architecturing diagram and generating a document these are fully free and you can just uh, give your problem statement here like suppose uh, i want uh, architecturing diagram architecture diagram for hosting e-commerce application just like this if you give it right it will click on submit it will generally give the diagram let's say like i want to generate it for mainly for aws now so I will just go here and draw the application uh, and give the problem statement and click on submit. It will process all your uh, problem statement as a request and it will generate a diagram. Generally this uh, diagram generation, it will take like 20 seconds like that. So you can just see here and I will make it fit view. So you can just see here. Uh, so user will try to access it uh, application entire application through the load balancer and load balancer will distribute the traffic to the web server front end layer from front end ec2 it will go to the various services like back end database connection and uh, storing a static content it will use a s3 and triggering a function called, they use a lambda so you can make a payment ordering all those services you can trigger this aws lambda function and then we have a, a cache for showing a cache data and content delivery to deliver the contents we can use a cloud front and dynamo database for storing a session data all this we can have it 
and on top of that they have a cloud watch and secret manager cloud trials and s3 these are mainly for uh, storing the logs diagnostic settings all those things to store that and to store the secrets uh, to uh, those things we can, they are having uh, these uh, services by default so once the diagram is completed even on top of this you can add up additional component also from here and then this diagram is done if you want to convert this to other cloud right you can just select again here azure gcp <laughs> And once the diagram is ready, you can just use uh, sketch docs here, which will generate a document for uh, your architecture. So we can just give like, uh, I want to host e-commerce application on AWS named uh, AWS and my application name is uh, let's select local card local card uh, like that i will local card i will give and location you can just give like which location even you can give a country name also to host where you want to host and click on generate document so it will take a architecturing diagram resources whatever there in our grid and then it will uh, send this to generative AI to process and get the data. So this is mainly hosted on Azure OpenAI service. So all the data, whatever it generates, the data will not go to any public or it will not go to third party service, which we are using Azure. Let's say like we are using Azure OpenAI. So it will not go to OpenAI because whatever hosted in Azure OpenAI, all the data will stay within uh, Azure OpenAI that is advantage that so that we have developed this center tool on top of azure openai so now you can see here uh, yeah this has generated that um, document with uh, all the solution and solution approach why they are having a uh, use uh, this load balancer why they have a uh, content delivery network all these things they are having and even it is telling that it is it has used a us east uh, region and based on that region they got approximate cost for all these services and we can just see a total estimated monthly cost will be around dollar 314 so even it will be having architecture in the diagram and you can just click on download document it will download a document here again so that's it about this tool particularly developed to design architecturing particularly for azure aws gcp and they have an additional advantage compared to the existing uh, service uh, existing um, tools they have additional advantage of generating a diagram and generating a document so it will reduce almost uh, 50 to 60 percent of our time when you are designing architecturing diagram and preparation of a document and when you convert it to a multiple cloud right it will almost uh, reduce 80 percent of your work so when you uh, when customer particularly want to draw the diagram for AWS Azure GCP, right? All three, it will be time consuming. So you can just draw at once in a one cloud where you are expecting, if you are expert in AWS or if you, one might be expert in Azure, you can choose your cloud and generate and draw the diagram or a generator diagram, then you can shift it to other cloud easily. That is the main advantage of this cloud. So if you are liking this tool and if you want to uh, use this tool, uh, I will post this URL, uh, website URL in the comment section just follow that and you can access the trial version of this uh, will be hosted soon uh, so you can just access that and make use of this tool thank you